Hello everyone, let's solve a new problem. Uh, let's go to problem number nine, palindrome number, which is of easy level. And we are given a number, integer could be positive number or negative number. And we need to find if it's palindrome, we return true. If it's not, we return false. So quick look at it. Any negative number will be false. Why? Because it have negative sign here, which of course does not equal any digit because it's negative sign and negative sign could be only on the left side. Okay, we can solve this problem in two ways. The first way is simply a very easy way is convert this number to a string. So we do string the number x and then we check if it's palindrome or not. So we have one, two, one. This is a string. We use two indexes. One is left, the other one is right. One is left, the other one is right. And while left equal right, then we continue our loop and we reduce this by, increase this by one actually, and reduce this by one. And we come closer. So maybe we have another digit here like another two and another two and if these are equal till l uh, while l is less than r we continue like this till l become equal to r or l bigger than r we quit the loop and since we did not find anything wrong here in this we return true we return true but if two digits here are not equal, we immediately return false. We no need to continue checking. If there's any two digits on the sides are not equal, then this is not palindrome and we return false. But this is solution number one, which is a very easy one. But here we have a follow-up question. Can you solve it without converting the integer to a string? And yes, we can do that without converting the integer to a string, without using this method. And simply, we have this integer, let's say 1, 2, 1. We will use the same method, we check the outside. Our, let's say we have also here 3 and here 3. We check from out, we check if these are equal or these are equal and on this left, so it's palindrome. But how we can check this digit with this digit? This one we can find it very simply by x mod 10, and we will get this digit. But how we can get this digit? Okay, this is like digit 0, 10s, 100, 1000, and 10,000. So simply we can say x integer division by 10,000 okay and then mod 10 why because integer division by 10,000 is 3 and you may say 3 is enough yes is enough but this equation can apply to this one and to this one and to this one while only this only this equation can only apply to this one, which will give us a three, but also when we say uh, reminder division by 10 will also give us a three. And I will tell you what's this equation, how we can write it as equation, general equation for all digits. Here, I will give it index zero, here index one, here index two, here index three, and here index four, or it's, start from length minus one to the left and zero to the right okay and simply the equation can apply for all digits is x integer division by 10 to power index whether it's left or right then reminder division by 10. For example, if here this one is index 1 and simply we need to do uh, integer division this number, integer division by 10 will be 3, 1, 2, 1 and mod 
10 will give us 1. Here we say 10 to power index. Here the index is 1. So 10 to power 1 is what is is 10. So it's the same equation. X divided by 10 then mod. For example, let's take this one here. Let me change color. Let's take this one here. Here is index 3. So it will become X integer division by 10 to power 3, which is 1000. And that will give us 31, okay, because the decimal point will not appear in the integer division, will give us 31. And then 31, we will do mod 10, the reminder division by 10 will give us 1. And we get this digit. So every time we get a digit, so every every time we get digit from this side and from this side we compare it if it's not equal we return false if equal we continue to the inside we start of course we start from the outside if they are equal we check the other inner inner loop and and so on so let's go now to the jupyter lab and let's start writing our code for both solution using string or not using string so let's start first one solution one converting to string. So we have x as input and we say x is simply string of x, the integer x and left right pointers or indexes will be zero and length of x minus one. Then while left is smaller than right if x for left not equal to the x of right, then we have problem and we return false. Otherwise, we simply inc uh, increase the index of left by one and decrease the index of right by one and return true if we exit from the loop without any problem. Well, let's test it. Here is neg negative number will give us false and here it should give us true. So I have something wrong in my uh, code. Let's check it, x equals string x, left, right equals zero, length of x minus one, wire left smaller than f x for left does not equal x for right, we return false, this plus equal, yeah, it should be, should, should be correct, why? <laughs> I don't see any error. Ah, here should be equal. Here should be equal. Okay. Uh, simple typing mistake. Now we fix it and it's, uh, it's good. Let's do solution number two without converting it to a string. So first, as I said, if, the, if x is less than zero, simply we return false because negative number is not palindrome. False. Okay. And what we have else here and left, right equal integer math dot log 10. I will explain why I did that in a minute and zero. Here we have a number. For example, we have one, two, one. How we can know what's the length of this number? It's integer, we cannot use length. We cannot use length. I don't think length work here, let's try. Length of one to one, does it work? No, it does not work. For string, it works, but for integer, it does not work. While this equation, let me copy it here for, let's say one to one will give us a three. Actually two, sorry, it will give us two. And we need two because we need the length minus one. So the length is three, three minus one is two and we need two. So how many, like uh, the level is 100 and log 10 is 100, so it will give us 10. If it's 1000, for example, it will give us uh, three. Even if it's 9000, will give us three. So it will give us exactly the index that we want. So I use this method to find uh, the left index. Okay, 
Now while L is bigger than R, here is L is bigger than R, and we say left digit equal X integer division to the 10 to power L and division by 10 to take the reminder and the right digit is also x integer division 10 to power r here and reminder division by 10 and here we say if left digit does not equal right digit then we return false otherwise left we decrease it by one and right increase it by one and if everything is good we return true let's test it here false and true it's good let's copy this code and we go to the let code and test it there let's test it here and see if it's good or not there's error here huh there's oh there's one case when the x is zero and we don't have log zero so here this where's the equation this one math log 10 for zero does not exist is it give us a wrong uh, answer so simply we can say here this one to one we need to delete it it's just a comment we say here if x equals zero we we'll simply return it true and that's all should be good yeah it worked perfectly fine everything is good let's try submit again to see the time complexity if it's higher yeah 28 is good okay i hope this is clear thank you very much please don't forget to leave a comment and i see you in the next video